video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP and PSN codes. And powered by Elgato Gaming. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbox here and welcome to another 2025 Karimo video. And today, we're looking at one of the up and coming players in world football. Another one of these Portuguese wonders in career mode right now in FIFA 16. It is Ruben Neves. You better believe it, it's another crazy good central midfielder to pick up in career mode. There are so many of them, I mean just take your pick. This man though, ladies and gentlemen, is a serious shout. Mid 70s overall, with a high potential around 88 at the moment. That is his in-game potential right now. Neves now for a while has been a pretty decent pick up in career mode since Probably, I'm going to say, back from FIFA 14. He was okay in FIFA 14, maybe not great. FIFA 15, he really started picking it up. But now, in FIFA 16, this is where he's come to play. He's also one of the players that I love. Someone that has super well-rounded stats, both physical and mental and technical. He doesn't suck at anything. His only stat below 60 is his penalties. Everything else is above that and way above that for most, around 70. I'm an absolute sucker for stats like that, and we're about to get into them right now. Here we go. So let's check him out. Ruben Neves, the central midfielder slash CDM. You can immediately see there. All green, all yellow, and that's what you love to see. It's super well-rounded around the 70 mark, and the same goes for the skill attributes. The penalties are not great. Finishing could be a bit better. He is a CDM, though, so you can kind of be forgiven for those in particular stats, but everything is around 70. Most are high 70s, like his passing. Some of his shooting is okay. His finishings are alright, but he's got his finishing's a bit average, but he's got great uh, long shots and stuff like that. It's kind of funny. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, medium attacking and defensive work rate. He's got no specialities. The long pass of trade as well, and again, an absolute gem. 88 potential. And with the wide array of plays that you can pick up at central midfield or even CDM in this career mode, let's see if Ruben Neves can convince us to maybe give him a go. And unfortunately in this one, we've definitely had players that have had a better start. Unfortunately, it's plus one in their overall, but he's still 19 years of age and still plenty of time left to go. He's got okay form, not great morale, unhappy at the moment, which is... Uh, unfortunate. He's definitely playing plenty of games. You can see that some of the stats have gone up. Like you can see his finishing and his penalties, they have definitely increased. They're just not being indicated. So maybe it's a bit better than what we think. We'll certainly see in the future. Hopefully he can get it together in the season two. What has he been able to do in this one? As we begin to scroll down, Ruben Neves is again plus one. Unfortunately, again, just the plus one of his overall. Now in bad form, but yeah, these are definitely not the numbers I was hoping he'd put up, and he hasn't had that great a start. Hopefully, he can really kick it into gear, but still, this time around, the technical attributes have been increased just that a little bit more. You can see plus two, plus three to some stats as well, and you can really see the greens are starting to come out, which is great to see. That's a fantastic, fantastic uh, trait to have, just to be so well-rounded in, in all these stats. It's not like I say that all the goddamn time anyway, but anyway, let's move on in the third and final season before we go all the way to 2025, and this time again... At least he's consistent. He's about as consistent with his stats as he is with his growth in career mode. Plus one this time again. 77 rated at the age of 21. Plus three in his three seasons that we've had him for in his first three. So there you go. And even though those stats are really looking good, the technical attributes are great. Very minimal physical attribute growth, mental attribute growth. But at least the technical is coming along. That's all I can say. But it is time now to continue ahead all the way to 2025. We will see if he can really get a kick up the ass in terms of his growth. Because plus one every season will not do it for him. He's got to get to 88. And that's a long way away right now. So hopefully he can do it. Let's go to 2025. So Ruben Neves, with the odds against him and a lot of work to do to get to that high potential. Can he even get anywhere near it? I reckon that could be considered a victory. If he does, he'd be a heck of a player. But what's his rating in 2025? It's 85. He's actually gone up by plus one again in this season as well. It's crazy. He's probably gone up plus one in almost every goddamn season. It almost feels like that. The numbers feel relevant. But anyway, there you go. 28, uh, 28 years of age, 85 rated, still in bad form despite obviously playing all the games and morale happy. But still, that's unfortunate. We are just a bit off his uh, actual potential, but still 28 years of age. I'm sure he could continue to grow. Hell, he's already gone up by one in this season. But when you get down to it, the technical attributes, ball control and dribbling, the passing, and a bunch of other stats, the defending stats as well, looking superb. Very well-rounded physical attributes, which really started coming along. I mean, this guy definitely is a solid player, even at 85. And that's him when he hasn't even hit his potential. You could definitely use player training to get him up to that potential even faster and develop those stats even better than his natural potential but oh goodness me guys still a tremendous player only 18 years of age when we got him as well so he could be superb we've definitely had other central midfielders that have grown a bit better and been able to hit their potentials but still some of them don't have the sheer consistency in their stats 
that this man did. So if you're one of those if you're one of those Karimo players that love that just as much as I do, then here is your man potential. But that's it for this one, though, guys. Thank you so much for watching once again another 2025 Karimo video. And until the next one, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new. And don't forget, of course, leave in the comments down below who you'd like me to do next. And have a good one. Bye-bye.